guys, Wolf is here, my wolf pack, welcome back. I have another horror game for you guys, uh, this time it's called Depart. I've played uh, another horror game from the darkness, um, from the same creator, and I loved it. I loved the atmosphere, the jump scares, the, you know, the Soviet type buildings, everything, the authentic stuff. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, I heard a lot of good stuff about this game especially the ultra realistic stuff well I heard that you get to um, you get to finally have a gun yeah I know unusual for a horror game yeah no f so no flashlights no liars finally a lethal weapon so we can defend ourselves and uh, yeah we get to enjoy the realistic engine. I wonder if it's the latest Unreal one. Whoa. Even the way you're looking around it just feels very immersive when you're running around and everything. Kinda sh a bit of a shame that can't see our legs but whatever. Shit. Okay. Don't suppose we have a gun yet. It is dark. I can't see a sh I can't see a thing, man. Whoa, even if you're when you're looking around, when you're looking at something like in real life, you know, you're focusing on something and then you look up. So it's like blurry for a second. Wow. Oh, there we go. What do we have here? Huh? Okay, I... Whatever I just did, I didn't mean to turn off all of the lights. Never mind. I meant to do that. So, if it's a realistic game, I suppose it's gonna be really easy to die as well. Do you have anything in the locker? Nope. Okay. Ooh, something's happening. No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure maybe something opened at the very beginning so we could get a gun or something. Please give me a gun game. Oh. Yes, thank you. Whoa. Wow, it's so sensitive. Why am I covered in blood? Oh, this is so cool. It's like, it's giving me a feeling as if I'm playing a VR, but I'm not. You know, the, the movement, everything. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, even if when you're aiming, your hand, your arms are shaking a little bit because you're breathing ever and everything. <laughs> Noise. Is the ammo unlimited though? Both of these are closed. God damn it!
Oh, now it's closed, okay. I didn't even get to see whatever was in that room. It scared the crap out of me, man. But this is so freaking cool. What happens if I touch the chain? Am I gonna reveal myself or, or something? I don't wanna do that. Okay. Can you crawl in this game? Guess not. Um... No, I don't want to go there yet. Wonder if there's a flashlight or like a night vision, something like that. The light bulb kind of died, or is it just the lights? Nope. Okay, then I guess it's it's the light bulb. Okay, it's just the the shiny shelf or whatever. I thought there was like a a way out. Oh, there we go. That's new. I can feel literally feel the tension is building up. Hey, shh, stop that. Come on, barrels. Oh man. I can feel it. Okay, obviously I'm not going uh, on second thought, might actually... I was thinking to go to the direction where it's less obvious that you might encounter something, but... Was... Oh, it's just... Is it just the chair? Got... Got a bit scared there. We are in 9 minutes, 9 minutes of gameplay so far and suspiciously quiet. Suspicious. That was an enemy. Is it though? I am kinda worried, not gonna lie. Okay, it is just a doll, but you never know with these kind of things. I kinda wasted to a little bit of ammo. Two bullets are gone. Okay, 
this is closed as well. Okay, the only way to go is uh, downstairs, I suppose. And there is no lights there. Oh man. I really don't want to go there, dude. Oh Christ. It's too dark, yeah. Screw that. Um It's kinda too dark here as well, I don't see a thing now. Oh, Jesus. There's no way I'm going back. You're saying it's too dark, but it's even darker over there. Maybe I'm missing something. turn anything what's the purpose of these rooms Yes, dude, yes, how come I didn't realize for us, f for some reason, all this time, I literally thought it was like a, a lamp. Now we got a flashlight and it, all of a sudden it's quiet, the music is gone. Okay. Something, something tells me it would have been better if we didn't get a flashlight. What was that? Ah, oh, jeez. Especially the scream really got me. Freaking hell. Okay. Um. For whatever reason, my FPS just dropped to zero. Jesus Christ. Why am I doing this to myself? Oh, saving. Thanks a lot. You know what that means whenever you get a saving thing. So you get to try again. Oh, uh, man. Oof. Wow. It's been a while since I've felt so much tension in a horror game. I don't trust anything. This way, yeah, of course, dude. 
Can I trust you, game? I don't think I can trust you. Um. Sun, the music started changing. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Creepy door number one, creepy door number two. Usually, if a game is selling you to do something, it's a it's a good sign, so they're like kind of trying to help you out, but. I hope the developer is not trolling me. Okay. That's it? Okay, I am being trolled. And of course it's dark. Lord help me. Oh. I don't like that. And here I was complaining earlier, like five minutes ago, that it's way too quiet. Give me so many goosebumps, so I do it. What's this? Keys. Uh. Is that for that door outside, or? all of those doors we've seen previously. Oh. Suppose I got my answer, but just wanna have a quick look outside. Right. At least the enemies are yelling at you. You kinda You kinda know that they're there, you know what I mean? But sometimes the mouse is a bit sensitive. Oof, I don't like the the really tight turns. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's nice. Feels like someone's on the other side of the door. Oh man. Yeah, you want me to turn that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, that's a nice troll. <laughs> okay. I kind of like that. What I don't like is if I turn it. Oh man. Wish I could just climb over, but it's fine. There is no way I'm gonna start running in this game. Oh crap. Oh crap. Why is this? I don't like this one bit. Feels like it's a little bit too easy. Okay, <laughs> just trying to mentally prepare for whatever that is. Where is that coming from? Hello? Not much I can do, but retry, I suppose. So yeah, I knew it. The, the whole point of those chains, if you touch them, so the AI reacts. Oh crap! That's new. How come he came out? So there was another one. Wait, so if you die, you actually you just respawn. But the monsters, whatever they are. Unfortunately, we don't get unlimited ammo, so I'm not too sure how to Man. <laughs> Jesus! Oh 
Okay. That's two. Whatever that was, I'm not I'm gonna try and avoid touching the chains. Touch one of the chains. Okay, this better be worth it. Do I get extra ammo though? Because last time I ran out of ammo. Not gonna touch the chain. Monsters are so creepy, dude. Where did I come from, though? Okay. Screw you, dude. Screw you. What? Is he dancing? Okay, nice moves dude. Okay. <laughs> nice nice one, yeah. <laughs> at the at the end it's nice troll. I thought it's gonna be a little bit more serious, but okay, okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, what can I say? I'd love I'd love to play more realistic core games like that. It's just like the, the the whole feel of it, you know what I mean? If you compare this game to the previous project of the developer, the From the Darkness, it's uh, that one was way more simplistic, but both the uh, concepts are really cool. Uh, the horror element definitely it got me, you know. It's just so the game kind of makes you feel relaxed at the very beginning and then you're like wondering am I being trolled how come it's so quiet and then it gets you with these like random monsters and yeah the atmosphere everything I loved it so yeah looking forward to trying something like that in the nearest future or whatever yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one